Welcome to another daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. This time we will set up data level security for our model. So we will start with creating a model in SAP Analytics Cloud. So we will acquire the data from a spreadsheet. In the example, it's a very simple spreadsheet. We have one dimension country and we have a measure of revenue. We're going to set up security so that one user can see all countries and another user can only see one particular country. So we quickly create the model and we uploading the data into SAP Analytics Cloud. We save the model into our public folder. So that makes it also easier later on to make sure that the users can actually view the model and can view the story that we're going to create. So then we navigate back to the model and we open up the properties. Now, there are basically two different options to set up data level security. One is to set up what is called data privacy, and the other one is called the data access for dimensions. So we will start with the option to set up the model data privacy, which means anyone who hasn't given actually access in particular will not have access to any of the data. So we enable that option. So then we're going to save the changes to our model. And now we can set up roles that have rights assigned for this model. So we go to security, we go to the roles. We set up one role that can view all countries and one role that can only view a particular country. So we're going to give the first role kind of like the name country all. We create the role. And we take a blank template because we're also going to make the users part of the standard viewing role. So we don't have to worry about the general security. So now we go to the option select model and we select the model that we just configured for data level security. So now we have the option to add access to the information. So we can go and say add read access. We don't want to just give full access. So we then go in and add a particular dimension. In our case, that's the dimension country. And then we choose the option in this particular case to give access to all countries. Even if the user has access to all, you still have to set up that in the data access level. So this is our role for the user who can see all countries. We save the changes. And then we're gonna to have to set up the second role, which will only be allowed to view Canada as a country. So we're going to limit that role to view one particular country. So again, we go in to create a new role. We give the role a name. We choose the blank template. We go to the option select model, choose the model from the previous steps. And in this case, we'll basically add a read access again for dimension country. 
but this time we choose Canada as a single country. So now we need two users, uh, one that has the Canada row and one that has the all row. And we're just adding the standard BI content viewer row to it as well. So we don't have to worry about the standard rights in SAP Analytics Cloud for them to be able to view content and so on. So here's our two users with the different roles assigned. And now we're going to prove the point. We're going to build a story with a table inside. And then we're going to actually log on with the two different users and show that the one user can see all countries and the other user can see only Canada. So we choose the model for the story. And all what we really need is a simple table that shows the country in the rows and the revenue as a columns. And then we're going to save it and log in as different users. So here we are as the user that is allowed to see all countries. And we're going to open up the story. And as you can see, we can see the table with all the countries. So now we're going to log out and we're going to go in as the user only that can see Canada. We open up the story again. And you can see then the table will only show Canada as a country. So great, it worked. So now we actually go in and create another model and we set up the security using the second option. So we use the same kind of data where you quickly create a second model. So again, we have to mention country, measure revenue, like we did before. So we save our model in a different name, and then we can configure the data level security. So we go to the model tab and we go to the model properties. And this time we not go to the model data privacy. We actually enable data access control for Dimension country. Now the process is slightly different. We open up dimension country now in this model, and now we can assign the users and teams and roles to actually either have read access or write access. So in our case, we go in, we open up and assign our user who can see all countries and assign it to all the countries that we have. So we can then quickly copy it into all the other countries. And then all what we have to do is change the entry for Canada and add our second user to it. So as you can see, the steps are slightly different to configure actually the data level security. So now we save the changes and we created the data level security again, but in a different way. So let's compare the two different options. The model data privacy does have the ability to configure data level security. It also allows you to configure column security by actually choosing which measure from the account model the user is able to see. The security is assigned to a role and it then allows the user to actually create a more role-driven definition of the security. 
So your administrator could even set up roles where they assign security for multiple models in one role. If we go to the second option where we configure the data access control, we have the same kind of things. We can have the role level security, we can have the color of security, but the security is assigned to one particular model. So it's not basically one role that could have the security for multiple models. You will have to do this in each individual model. And also, because it is assigned as part of the model itself, the master data has to be actually already loaded. So you have to have your members actually in the model, in the master data loaded, so that you can go in and assign the read and write options. I hope this was helpful outlining how the data level security works, and I want to thank you for listening.